Welcome back to pause. That shadow is gonna make me mad. One moment, please. Is that better? That's close enough. I don't know. I think I'm doing the best that I can here. Hi everyone, it's Isabella here and welcome back to the channel. So, all right, you guys, today's video, I've been dying to do a little bit of a series, I would say kind of covering more of TikTok shop. Now, if you guys are new here, I've covered different topics in regard to TikTok and TikTok shop in general, but today I really wanted to focus on some of the problems with overconsumption, how TikTok has essentially been shoving it far more to us when it comes to TikTok shop and slightly de-influencing you guys on some products that are so unnecessary that everyone's about buying up because hashtag TikTok made me do it. Some of this shit is so unnecessary and ridiculous and we have to talk about how some of this stuff has gone from, oh, this is a fun, good idea, could be really beneficial for your everyday or, oh, that's cute to wear to, we're literally falling off the deep end with this. I wanna dive into TikTok shop and overconsumption of it all. So for half of today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and click the bell button down below. My merch second channel, podcast, Instagram and TikTok are also in the description below if you guys wanna hang out with me more. And without further ado, let's get into it. So real quickly, let's cover TikTok shop and just TikTok in general and how we've essentially come to where we are right now. So if you guys have not seen, I did make a video discussing TikTok shop and some of the unethical ways that some people can get scammed by it. Now I've actually covered several different times on different videos, how TikTok shop can essentially be a blessing and a curse at the same time. I've had my positive experiences with TikTok shop, but there's been many examples of scamming, unethical business practices, and very, very cheaply made products that have been pushed and promoted to you guys here on this app. Now, again, huge disclaimer, I'm not completely against TikTok shop. I'm not 100% for it always either. I think it's gonna be really varying on if you're using it for their small businesses, if you're using it to actually purchase products that you have every day, but you can easily fall into unethical scams, counterfeit products, cheap AliExpress items that are drop shipped and so much more. I made a video about this if you guys wanna learn about it a little bit more. Nonetheless though, TikTok shop has essentially developed a ton, I think over the past year, especially where we've seen so many many people shoving a ton of different ads in front of you throughout your For You page. There's multiple different ads and promotionals that are put up on the TikTok shop. And a lot of people are utilizing it now to say, this is where I am buying it from and I need to go on and on about it. Now, a couple of things that I've noticed that have really shifted with this topic is the fact that people have been promoting products in a way that is so extreme, they've become an entire ad. It's all really pushing this concept of overconsumption and things that's just kind of going too far. And we see that in many aspects of our For You page. We see naturally a lot of products and videos that are highlighting TikTok shop are gonna be kind of pushed to us more. And with that, I've noticed there's a heavy trend of people talking about TikTok made me buy it. Now, again, I, I feel you. I've been the exact same way before. There were times where I'm like, oh my God, TikTok convinced me to buy it and it ended up being something I truly loved. I'm not talking on that. It's become though where it's too much now. It's happening way too often and people are essentially utilizing this impulsivity to buy and the easy access that TikTok shop has to offer. Also just TikTok in general that is creating this like need to buy everything. And we see sometimes now while they're entertaining and can be very beneficial, these videos that are promoting these like Amazon fridge hauls where they show like all of their fridge storage or my desk organization. And none of it is inherently harmful by any means. However, I I think it's transferred in a way to some people have not taken the time to genuinely think about what they're buying and think if they actually need it, if it's actually of quality and unless they just wanna buy it because it's trending at the time. And that's something that has become a serious problem. So real quickly, I kinda wanna go over a couple products, for example, that have been um, viral on TikTok that people have been raving about. And I'm going to essentially de-influence you on this and talk about why some of this is so heavily unnecessary. First of all, let's talk about the crisscross chair. Oh my God. So so this was popping off, I think a couple of months ago and has kind of still been going off the crisscross chair. There are videos and things and I'll have examples pop up over here of people talking about the crisscross chair. Now this is one that apparently has been going viral and is so popular because you can literally sit crisscross in the damn office chair. It's like so much more comfortable. It's so much better. La 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 la. Okay. And I'm just like, all right, but if you already have a desk chair, why are, why are we buying another? Like it didn't make any sense to me. So I'm here to say, if you are somebody who's looking and interested in buying a chair like that, chances are you actually might get tired of not having enough um, armrests like me. I'm someone who likes to have armrests and to lean back in all of my chairs and 
prop my legs up like in any which way I want. I'm going to be honest, some of those chairs have been reviewed and have had more like less, I would say back support. So this is not exactly something that's going to be useful for everyone. And especially if you're someone who like works from home like me or frequently uses your chair, it's not always going to be the most beneficial for you. Like I will say, going to be honest, I'm going to keep my chair for a very long time, but the one that I have doesn't have enough back support and it's similarly built to that. And I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. But again, people were losing their minds over it, buying an expensive chair and replacing the one that they already have that was perfectly fine. I'm telling you, this is an overpriced little trend that's going to disappear. And also with the trend popping up, people on TikTok or like the TikTok shops were giving and selling fakes. So you could possibly be trying to buy the TikTok shop version and there could be multiple versions and you could be buying an awful cheap one at that. So again, I would not recommend this product. Another one that I do want to talk about is the fashion creators and some of the trends that are just being pushed out to you because oh my god can we talk about this one guys i placed a 500 dollar shein order and it came in the mail but guys there is so much stuff everything from dresses from dresses to shoes to bathing suits to all sorts of stuff so Every single item that I got, I will link in my bio on my like to know at my blog, because there's a lot of stuff here. I usually go on Shein to buy one thing and end up buying a hundred things. So I accumulated a lot of points and almost got this whole bag for free. Let's do a haul. I'm trying to be more girly this year. Usually I dress like your dad. So I got this pink bag and hopes that will scream femininity. Uh, there has been a literal wild experience, I would say, with the fashion creators where we've hit a point now where so many people are kind of getting tired of purchasing new fashion items like so heavily, I think, in a way. And unless they're truly like worth it and like going to be everyday uses and not just a trend, people are kind of getting bored of it. So I have seen fashion creators essentially, not all, but some have jumped to like insane trends. I'm so sorry for saying this. I apologize. This is giving me the ick. Mob wife aesthetic. What the fuck is that? What the f is mob wife? What the f is mob wife? Or old money aesthetic. Oh my God. Just say classic shit. Like it's just it, anything that's new that people are like, you need to have, this is the new aesthetic out. This is what's trending. This is what's good. And then people unknowingly think that they like, oh my God, I want to do that. And people make more impulsive purchases to buy items like that. But they don't even literally consider the fact that, wait a minute, this piece that I'm going to buy from this mob aesthetic video that's trending right now actually is not going to fit with 90% of my wardrobe. Or okay, the like I want to dress more classy in this way and I want to dress more like old money. There's just too many impulsive purchases that are being pushed for a fashion creators I would say right now especially on TikTok that are making people like oh my god and, it, and like you got to think about some of these trends are nuts okay stick to some of the basics stick to being able to get creative with what you got go thrifting and if you want to buy new stuff that's totally fine I'm not gonna dog on that I'm just saying consciously think about your decision before doing it because some of these trends are going to die off and look embarrassing like does anyone remember some of the trends that popped off in 2020 some of y'all know exactly what I'm talking about dumb as hell most of us think it's embarrassing we don't like it I mean for crying out loud TikTok trends with the like vines on the bedroom wall, the lights on the ceiling. So many people got it just because it's a trend and now they literally hate it because it's not. Trends die frequently, wear whatever the hell you want. Another one is Stanley Cups is a beautiful example of this. Now I did make a Stanley Cup deep dive, which I'll have pop up over here about some of the crazy sketchy shit going on with Stanley. But the Stanley Cup trend has been such a beautiful example of how people will just buy it because it's trending, not because they actually want it or need it. It's just because the word trend and the videos put on their for you page is showing them that it is a necessity. We literally saw this with the Hydro Flasks, with Yeti. We're seeing it now with Stanley Cups. Like this is happening so frequently. Just get a damn reusable water bottle. It is literally not that deep. We don't need to go and replace it. You don't need a fucking water bottle that is color coded to every outfit you have. That's a little nuts. Keep it simple. It's really excessive. You don't need the latest color. You don't need to be running through Target to buy a Stanley Cup. Everyone needs to get a grip in reality and stop buying the shit. This is nuts, okay? Like genuinely, you don't need it. I know, I know one of y'all, some of you guys have had a moment in your life where you had a bunch of 
fucking cups in your cupboard and mismatched lids. And you're like, I don't know. There's so much shit going on in there. Go venture into that damn cupboard, please. I used to have one of those and I got my shit together. Go venture into that cupboard. Check and see what you already have in there. I'm 90% sure that you're probably going to have something that works perfectly fine. And if anything, you might discover a new lid that you've been missing for a while. So go in there and look, okay? But we do not need to be buying the brand new everyday Stanley cup, okay? I truly think TikTok has essentially led to brain rot with how much we think that we have to keep buying shit. It is leading to such an insane level of overconsumption that we do not need. And the pressure is honestly overwhelming. It's like, it's it's way too much. Another one, and by the way, stay tuned because I am absolutely making a video on this, the supplements and gut health side of TikTok. I fell down this rabbit hole. See those little stringy things down there? Mm -hmm. Those are parasites. Oh, wow. Okay, so starting at the border, uh, we got a nice pretty green line that's coming from your kidneys and urinary tract. So that's showing that you're just a little dehydrated and maybe possibly recently you've had your cycle. Come with me as I start day one of my parasite cleanse. The thing we're starting with is a probiotic. So it's officially been an hour, which means we move on to the fun stuff. We need to shake everything up before use because these are all natural. All right, so I'm gonna mix everything up and I'm gonna be honest, this stuff smells, <laughs> but I guess that makes sense. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna have to get orange juice or something, but bottoms up, cheers. I caved and I bought this thing. This thing is all over the place and I want to see what the hype was. Right the first thing I noticed is that someone stole half of it. I don't know where it went. Grab my little cup. Sorry if this makes you have to pee. And put it on the little counter, pour my scoop full, and then I just swished it around with the little swish swish thing. I don't know what it's called. Oh, it's a frother. I have fallen down the messiness of it where I literally at one point was like, damn, I might need this supplement. It's it's all happened to us. The gut health gurus that are like, are you bloated all the time? Are you experiencing this? Are you, it might be leaky gut. It might be, oh my God. TikTok PhD, get the f out of my face. Like, do not listen to these randos, okay? What you need to be doing is not listen to the people who are telling you to cleanse your body of worms. Oh my God, no, you're gonna fuck your intestinal lining. You don't need bloom. I'm making a deep dive on that too. Don't you worry. You don't need bloom. That's a bunch of bullshit. You don't need all this extra shit. You don't need the random little pills that they're like, this helps me with folk. You don't need that, okay? Half of y'all don't even need some of the supplements you probably take because you're overloading your body on things that your body already gets from a regular diet or one multivitamin, all right? So some of the people that are talking about, are you a new mom who has no sleep, has a lot of anxiety and is trying to lose weight? If you're a new mom, more than likely all of those things are happening because you just gave birth to a child and a lot's going on right there. A supplement is not going to fix that. And we should be going to professionals and doctors. And what's really fascinating is there's actually many professionals who will get onto TikTok and say, you don't need this guys, you don't need to buy this. And I get it, a lot of us are motivated and the idea of becoming healthy and trying to help ourselves out or we're struggling with being tired or whatever the case may be. But I'm telling you, there's so many supplements out there that are not worth it, that are overpriced and are gonna be doing on it possibly more harm to your body than good. So maybe get rid of that Amazon cart that you have of all the supplements you wanna buy. Double check with a doctor, but please be so careful of where you get your information from because anyone can get on TikTok and be like, pause and action. Hi guys. Okay. I have to tell you, I was exhausted. I was miserable. I literally was sweating from my left pit only. Don't know what that was about. And then all of a sudden I start drinking this product. This is white paint once a day. Don't fucking do this. This is a joke. And all of a sudden I feel like a new woman. My husband noticed a difference. I'm a new person. And all you have to do is go onto the TikTok shop and buy it for $29.99. Oh my no, leave everyone alone, you menace. We're not doing this anymore. There's not enough disclaimers on all this. There's too much misinformation being spread. And half the time, some of these people are talking about things that are completely medically inaccurate. So be safe. I've fallen down the rabbit hole. I know you have. Be cautious. The shit is literally everywhere. Last thing I have to talk about is the mountains and mountains of skincare. Here is a tour of all of my skincare collection. Having this much skincare is completely impractical and in no way recommended, and let's talk about why. All skincare has a PAO, or a period after opening symbol, which identifies the useful lifetime of a cosmetic product after the package has been opened for the first time. That means that as soon as you open and use a product, the number within that symbol is how long you have until that product is no longer recommended to be used. As an individual who fell down the rabbit hole of the skincare world in 2020, I will say, I decided to start purchasing more and investing into my skincare routine. And if you 
you guys see the videos of the girls with their gorgeous, aesthetically pleasing skincare routines, it's just something about it is so like you're sucked in, you want to watch, you want it too, right? I'm going to tell you so many of these products and things and the cases and cases of products they have on their wall is significantly unnecessary. Some of these creators have a shit ton of products because their job is to review it and show you multiple things. But you as an individual do not need that many products. Many people and professionals have discussed how overusing too many products on your skin could potentially cause way more damage on you. Okay. So just be very careful. By the way, constantly using all these different products and having a 10 step skincare routine is not necessarily beneficial and also not necessary for a majority of people. And additionally, some of the individuals who are talking about this transformative skincare product, that's a $10 spray, genuinely look into it because there are many times that I've done this before that I've bought a product for skincare, realized it sucked and I couldn't return it and I had to toss it and it was so wasteful. So if you're going to do it, look into professionals. I get it. Totally fine to look into other people's recommendations, but be very cautious about when you purchase because having the goal of having a wall of skincare might not necessarily be a good idea for you to do, I would say. If you want variety, like different face masks, I get it. But think about how many products, like genuinely, I need you to take a moment here. Think about how many products you've seen go viral that is a beauty product. You do not need it. Like the new face product, the new face, like what's it called? Shit, it's a little something. I don't know. I have one of the devices. They're really good, by the way. But girl, it's, you don't need that. You do, you don't have to get that. You don't need that. It's not a necessity. You don't always need salicylic acid. It's all so confusing. You can just stick to the basics, find things that work for you. But for those of you who are like, I want to revamp my skincare routine, you more than likely, I'm betting the left titty. You don't probably need a 10 step skincare routine and you are not lacking in self-care because you do not have that. And one big thing I have to express, self-care does not have to come at an insanely high budget. Okay. Got to make that clear. So now that we've covered some of these absolutely insane trends, let's talk about the overconsumption issues and how this is negatively impacting you. And quite frankly, I think hurting your mental health. If you're scrolling on your For You page and you see so many different ads, you think of all these ways of improving yourself. For example, maybe having a very aesthetically pleasing chair or getting a Stanley cup that matches every outfit. Maybe it's buying the brand new trend of clothing or the skincare routine. A lot of people have this internalized pressure essentially to buy so much that they're still missing out. And at the end of the day, I want you to kind of think with so many of these trends, it's never going to be enough. Like you're never going to be on top of the trend. You're never going to win, right? Like you are always going to be one step behind because there's going to be a new trend that comes along. There's going to be a new something. And at the end of the day, and I've literally had to sit back and look into this, are you actually buying it because you like it or are you buying it because it's a trend? I fell down that rabbit hole. I did absolutely used to buy things simply just because they were trending. I actually tried to make myself fall into specific aesthetics at one point. I'll be honest, we're besties here. We can have a conversation. I did that before. And so many people fall into it to keep up with the newest something to have it. And I'm going to tell you right now, the excitement of buying a trend is not always going to be good for you. And after a while, that energy and that excitement of purchasing it is going to disappear. And then you're stuck with a shit ton of products you don't even need. And additionally, buying some of these trends through TikTok shop, you could be wasting money because if you buy a supplement, for example, that sucks or might hurt you, you could be doing more damage than good. Or if you use it, you don't really know if it works. It still was a waste of money because it didn't actually help you with what you needed. And then you're still off searching for the newest item to help you out. And this overconsumption is essentially filling up your junk drawers with a bunch of random things that TikTok told you to buy. So a thing I really wanted to kind of briefly mention, and again, I'm speaking on this from personal experience. So if I've experienced it, I'm sure everyone else has. The blurring lines between seeing an ad and impulsivity and thinking that you have to get it when you don't, right? So this is something I want to kind of briefly talk about is I think some people have slightly lost the discernment between I need it or it would be fun versus just simply impulsively buying because of a trend, for example, and not genuinely thinking through their purchase. And even even something I want to mention specifically when it comes to even myself. If I'm making a sponsored ad for you guys, if you do not need it or actually don't want it, do not just get it because it's trending or because I mention it. And I also want you to have that perspective when it comes to the when you are scrolling through social media. There are so many posts that we are fed in. I completely understand that. But at the end of the day, I'm wanting to encourage that kind of consideration and mindfulness and pause before essentially opening up your Apple Pay, right? And again, impulsivity, shit happens. I understand that. I'm just doing my, my service and reminder because I used to do 
that scrolling through TikTok, I would be so much quicker to just like, yeah, it, why not? It's a trend, right? And then I had to sit back and be like, actually, I'm really falling down the overconsumption rabbit hole in a way where this isn't good. I'm liking something because it's a trend, not necessarily because I like it. Now, again, I want to make this so clear that not everyone that's promoting a product is doing it bad or doing it wrong. I'm talking about having more of a regulation on your end as you are going through this because so many things like the refrigerator organization, unless you just got money to blow, you don't don't need that, okay? It's not a necessity. The brand new fashion trends, you do not need that to look put together and perfect. You can work with what you have. You totally can do that. Thrifting is amazing. I love doing that. I'm a thrifty girly. I and love making that happen. I w my mother taught me to do that and I will stick to that forever. Anytime, I'm not kidding, anytime you guys that I am looking at a trend or an item, I immediately hop on a Poshmark or eBay or something because I'm like, that I want and I think I could use that, but can I find the exact same thing that somebody doesn't want anymore that I would love to buy? Totally do that. Just take your time because I think TikTok has essentially fed this life of impulsivity and like quick entertainment and joy because of how short and quick the content is. So when we switch over to purchasing something from TikTok, it's kind of like easier for us to just swipe a card and just go for it. Please be kind to yourself and your finances and just kind of focus on some of these things are really unnecessary and are kind of being pushed to you in a way that might be possibly false advertising, might be just a really random trend that's gonna die off in three months or in general is something that you don't need to get and just because you see an influencer promoting it does not mean it's meant for you. Someone else might actually need it or maybe need a new water bottle and wanna buy a Stanley or oh my God, actually, Actually, I do want a supplement like that. And it does work with what my doctor said. Okay, I'll get something like that. Not everything is meant for you and you don't need to get it because it's a trend and you are not better than or worse than if you do or don't buy a product, okay? My moral of the story is I get it. We've all fallen down these rabbit holes and these apps and programs are taught and made to entertain and feed this need in you. So I'm just showing you and de-influencing you on some of these products. Some of this stuff is unnecessary and I'm telling you to do that when you are looking at any product. Do you actually need it? Do you actually really want this? Is it going to really be useful for you for a long time? If not, then it's probably not worth buying and you're going to be wasting several dollars on something that's going to end up in the closet, in the back of a drawer, or in a trash can. So that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini deep dive on de-influencing and why some of this stuff is ridiculous and insane to say the least. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. I have many other deep dives on products and things like this and other videos like this about deep influencing, I would love to do. If there's any crazy trending products that you guys want me to talk about in like a deep influencing series, I would absolutely love to do that because I will logically walk y'all through why some of this shit is unnecessary. So thank you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next video.